the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I have a secret. Miraculous, simply the best. Up to the test when things go wrong. Miraculous, the luckiest. The power of love only so strong. Miraculous. Wait, we have to fight, fool. Let's use the miraculous. I'll take the ladybug and you take the black cat. But what if we fail? They'll get hold of this box and it will mean the end of the world. Come with me. We'll be safe in England. Marianne? Leave without me. I'd rather stay and resist, even without the miraculous. I'll come back for this. And you? I'll be waiting for you right here, every day. Marianne. I've never told you this, but I... Tell me when you come back. Over there! Catch them! Now go! Come on! Faster! The box! We must get the box! Girls, we have a very serious situation. Adrian and his father have been invited to the royal wedding in England this weekend. That's the emergency you called us over here for on a Saturday morning? You don't get it! Kagami and her mother are going too! Which means that Adrian and Kagami will be spending an entire weekend together! And... What if Adrian is blown away by her awesome dress and hairstyle? And if they dance together at the reception? And what if they tour the city on a romantic horse and buggy ride? It would be the end of the world! They're taking the Star Train to London at 11 a.m. That's in less than two hours! We gotta do something fast! Uh, we could organize a demonstration and make the trains go on strike. Nah, they just take a helicopter or private jet. I know! We'll dress you up as British megastar Adeline so you can slip into Buckingham Palace! You'll lure Adrian away from Kagami at the reception and waltz with him in the Grand Ballroom and... Then, when Adrian finds out you're not who he thought you were, he'll be totally disappointed because he hates lying. He'll fall head over heels in love with Kagami, given that she never lies, and you'll get locked away in the Tower of London. Mm, why don't you just get up, Kagami? That's cool. Oh! That no would be way bad. we could do that, Julika. We couldn't. Listen, Marinette, the best thing to do is just spill your guts to Adrian once and for all before he takes off for London. Couldn't we try Julika's idea instead? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I just can't do that. I can't talk to him without stumbling all over my words. I've been trying for months and... <gasps> And you're right! <laughs> it's about time things change. I'll find the courage somehow. Thanks, girls. You sure you'll be okay? Yeah, sure. I'll let you know what happens. Bye, girls. Waze, what's going on? Marinette, you must come with me. Master Fu needs you. Do you think it's serious? Master Fu wouldn't send Waze if it wasn't. You mean like the time he lost his keys and locked himself out of the house? It's about time Fu learned how to write and send texts. Right! Thank you, Tiki! That's the answer! I'm gonna write Adrian a letter and give it to him on the train platform just before he leaves. At least then I won't mess up anything when I open my mouth. Dearest to you, when you love someone, you must never hold back from telling them when you have the chance. Because one day you might realize that it's too late and that all your hopes and dreams are ruined with no way to go back in time and do it over. I want to tell it to you today before you leave, so you can take my words with you. I'm hoping they'll make their way to your heart and that, when you come back, will give me a chance to prove how true these words really are. I love you. I love you! <laughs> Yeah, Come on, kids. It's not nice to make fun of poets. Uh, maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> Marionette. Doctor, is Master... P I mean, Grandpa okay? Of course he is. You know what men are like. One little hiccup and they think they're dying. My time has come. <sighs> Here you go. I'll fetch this from the pharmacy and he'll be back on his feet in no time. And don't forget to eat more veggies, Mr. Chan. You need fiber, for God's sake. <laughs> Mr. Chan? 
You can never be too careful. Marinette, if anything happens to me, I want you to take care of the miracle box. You'll be the new guardian oh, and... Uh, come on, Master Fu. You're overreacting. It's just a little bellyache, that's all. I am 186 years old, remember? The doctor doesn't know that. You're going to be fine. I'll go and fetch your medication then. Wait, mm? that's not why I called you here. Go to the address written here, down on the riverbanks, at 11 a.m. You'll see a woman there wearing a pretty brooch shaped like a Chinese ideogram. Give her this letter. Who is she, Master? Someone I've always loved, but have never seized the moment to tell. Master, you've got a sweetheart. But why today? Because I'm just realizing that I've waited way too long. I don't know how much time I have left, but I don't want to waste another moment. You're so right. If you don't do it now, you'll probably never do it. I'm going to do what I need to do today, too. Thank you. Bring the medication back fast. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't have a good feeling about this. You can count on me, Waze. Hey, wait. Adrian's train is leaving at... Oh, no. That's in 20 minutes! The meds, Master Fu's letter, Adrian's letter? You won't have enough time to do everything, Marinette! I won't have time, but we might! Tiki! Number 8625 and 8025 in the direction of Paris Mount Parnasse are arriving on platform 12. Marinette? Uh, here, read this in the drain. Uh, on the train! I never told you, Kiss, this, but what I want more than anything else in the world is written on this piece of paper, and only you can give it to me. Sorry! Oh, medical emergency! I gave him the letter! I actually did it! After all this time, why did I wait so long? It was so easy! I'm so proud of you, Marinette. You were right to take the plunge. All right, time for the next one. Tiki Spotson! <laughs> I'm feeling a sense of uneasiness. In you, Gabriel son. I think I just don't like being away from home, that's all. He who hopes gives himself the opportunity to obtain what he desires. But he who fears always ends up with the very thing he dreads. I shall remember that, Suruki san. Hello again, Mr. Ramier. How are you today, Ms. Lenore? Today's the day. I know he's coming. I can feel it. He really is a very lucky man. He doesn't deserve you. Hello, ma'am. Look, Ladybug? Uh, yeah, I have a letter for you. The mailman asked me to give it to you because there was something wrong with him. I know perfectly well who sent you, young lady. Oh. Go now. The less we talk, the safer your secret will be. But thank you, Ladybug. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. You're welcome, ma'am. It was very nice meeting you. <laughs> Morning, ma'am. Here, it's very urgent. Uh, look. Thank you for this very moving, heartfelt declaration, but I'm already taken and my name's not Marianne. Uh, so if you have Master Fu's letter, who's got the prescription? When you love someone, you must never hold back from telling them when you have the chance. Because one day, you might realize that it's too late, and that all your hopes and dreams are ruined, with no way to go back in time and do it over. Too late? Hopes and dreams ruined? This means he doesn't love me anymore. That it's too late for the two of us? Oh, Miss Lenore, we promised each other. All this pain, all these years of waiting, for nothing. Oh. 
father. We are about to depart. Stand clear you, of the door. This train will not depart until I say it can. Who do you think you are? I am Gabriel Agrest, and I'm not feeling well. And until I'm feeling better, nobody goes anywhere. Is that clear? Mm hmm. Yes, I'm sorry, Mr. Agrest. We've got work to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a sick passenger on board. Our departure will therefore be slightly delayed until further notice. I can feel a whole lifetime of hope. The hope of being reunited with one's true love, only to find out that the waiting has been in vain. Fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize her. <gasps> Miss Lenore, wait! Backwarder, I am Hawkmoth. I'm granting you the power to make up for lost time by stealing it from others. All I ask for in return is Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous. Thank you for giving me a second chance, Hawk Moth. M Mrs. Lenore? What? You're not good at <laughs> no more time to waste! <laughs> this just in. There's a new supervillain at large. <laughs> uh, I... I better go check on my father. <laughs> Occupied. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Gotta go, huh? What? Clog up! It's probably a good thing Adrian didn't read it. Oh no! Here, you'll be safe here in the meantime. Whoops! Milady, okay you are? Are you okay, Milady? Cat Noir, they've been hit by a supervillain! Uh, yeah, I saw that. Looks like she's making them go back in time. I won't bore you with the details, but I'm sure the Akumatai's object is the brooch with the Chinese ideogram she's wearing. I trust you. <laughs> Not so fast! There you are again, you ghastly bug. Once I've touched you, all I have to do is wait for you to transform back. Then you can give me her miraculous. Not right now. First I'll follow her so that she can lead me back to the man who gave her those earrings. What? You know the guardian of the miraculous? You must take me to him. Fool, of course. He's the one who broke my heart. He's been hiding under a false name for a long time. But now, thanks to you, Hawkmoth, I'm going to find him again at last and make up for all that lost time. <laughs> what a delightful twist of fate. Cat Noir, I was at Master Fu's earlier. We can't let her touch me, otherwise she'll lead Hawkmoth straight to the Guardian and the Miracle Box. Uh, I'll gladly be your bodyguard, milady. In no time, you'll be back the way you were before you got akumatized. <laughs> 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 Return to sender. Hey, be nice to the lady. You're wasting your time while I grow stronger. We won't defeat her this way, Cat Noir. <laughs> Need is one hit. <laughs> Time's up, Cat 
Noir. <coughs> 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 Want to play hide-and-seek, huh? I've got all the time in the world. I'll find you sooner or later. And once I've defeated you, you'll lead me straight to my sweetheart. <laughs> then I'll be able to get my hands on not only their miraculous, but all the other magic jewels as well. <laughs> It's time we made a plan. A little helping hand from fate is in order. Lucky charm! A, a pipe? That's incredible. I was just thinking to myself, why don't we redo the fountain's plumbing while we're here? <sighs> okay, I know what to do. Follow me. <laughs> She's gone away. Quick, let's make the most of it. Take this. Hmm? Hmm. There. Now tie the pipe around your ankle. Your lucky charm seems more convoluted than usual. It's the most complicated ever. I have to stay focused. I'm with you, m'lady. Okay, now stretch your arm out like this and take a few steps back until the string is pulled tight. Hmm? Perfect. Now raise your arm and say, Cataclysm! Backwards. Silka, silka, silk attack! Silk attack! Excellent. Now pull the tube back to you. Right. Now follow me. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth, m'lady. Come on. You're merely delaying the inevitable. Sorry, we got a little held back. But we're all yours now. No more timeouts. My sweet darling Foo. Soon we'll be back together again. Yeah! I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For this. <laughs> If you're a swan down. I can't believe Food chose such a cowardly ladybug who would sacrifice her own cat noir. Yeah! What are you doing? Why don't you just take Cat Noir's Miraculous? You'll understand soon enough. He's powerless now, but I want Ladybug. She's my only ticket back to Foo. <laughs> Oh, my ankle! I think I've sprained it! You're mine! Cataclysm! No! No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to dig evil! Bye-bye, little butterfly. Miraculous Ladybug! Found <laughs> it! Well, at least I think so, because to be honest, I still don't understand what all that was about. That's because we girls are mysterious that way. Oh, uh, oops. Sorry, but I'd better scat. Super fast. Why the rush? <laughs> it's a secret. You see, we cats are mysterious, too. Well, what happened to me? I gave you the wrong letter earlier. I hope you'll forgive me. I can't do anything to change the past, but I hope this letter will change your future. Don't believe for one second that you've won, Ladybug. I've acquired more information that will enable me to track the Guardian down. And even though no one in Paris goes by the name of Master Fu, I will find where he's hiding. Soon I'll be able to have him decipher the spellbook for me, and maybe, who knows, even get my hands on every miraculous known on Earth! I know it's taking a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be feeling a lot better, Father. Oh, yes, I am. Ladies and gentlemen, our incident has been resolved. This train for London is about to depart. Stand clear of the doors, we apologize for any inconvenience. Marianne, I... I... <laughs> Marianne, I'm sorry I took so long to come here. 
I always felt as long as I was in charge of the miracle box, I'd be a danger to anyone I'm close to. But that's all in the past now. I know you always wanted to do what's best. I know what a responsibility it is being the guardian of the miraculous. Unfortunately, Hawkmoth now knows that I know you. Yes. He could hurt you to get to me. We can't be together again until he's been defeated. I have full trust in the ones I have chosen. They will succeed. Now it's my turn to go and hide, my sweet darling Fu. Maria, I've never told you this, but I... I... Save it for when I get back. Uh, why doesn't he just tell her? Because it's probably not the right time yet. How about you? When will it be the right time for you? I'll tell you if I'm still alive after seeing Adrian again tomorrow morning. So, how did it go? Did you tell him? Yeah, I mean, kind of. Basically, I gave him a letter. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Tell us exactly what you wrote in the letter. Oh, not much. It's not really important, is what? it? What? How can you say that, girl? Uh, hey, Marinette. Mm -hmm. ah. I was very surprised when I read your letter, but since it seemed to be so important, I spent the whole weekend walking around London looking for it. For you. Uh, thank you. I'm glad I could help. Disaster! <laughs> Disaster? He had you on his mind all weekend. He even brought back a gift for you. Yo, what is it? Come on, show oh, us. Open it. Open it. No, we're good. Trust me, we really don't need to open it. <gasps> Constipation capsules. 